Hi guys, and thanks for watching again. Recently I bought this NeoPixel board. Uh, at least it is a NeoPixel board, but I thought I just bought a 5x8 RGB LED matrix. But it turns out to be a NeoPixel board. And I was actually quite amazed that it was a NeoPixel board. I just didn't look very good when I bought it. And I bought it at a Dutch shop, online shop, instead of eBay for a change. And it cost me about $12. And I thought, yeah, that's nice, a NeoPixel board. I've seen uh, Julian Alet playing with NeoPixels before. And I've, I've seen him using dedicated NeoPixel drivers for that. So I needed, needed to drive this. And I was looking at the board and I was looking where is the control IC? Is there some sort of IC on, on this? There's, but there's not. There's only one power regulator over here. And, and between the LEDs are some uh, capacitors, but that's it. And a switch, but no control circuitry, circuitry whatsoever. So I was looking and I thought, well, maybe the, these LEDs, the, which they call NeoPixels, the, they have a black dot and that should be the control IC per LED then, right? So I was doing some research online and it turns out that the NeoPixels um, are called WS2812 or anything uh, LEDs and th those those are just intelligent RGB LEDs. So and now I needed to find a way to drive them because I was looking at the board and sees all kinds of digital inputs, digital input outputs, analog in, and of course some some voltage pins. But yeah, I was thinking, why not try the NeoPixel way? And of course, I have all kinds of Raspberry Pis in stock, so why not drive the NeoPixels with a Raspberry Pi? So I was looking online. And uh, I found someone who did that before and uh, with great success. So if he can do it, I should be able to do that, right? Now, the NeoPixels, they uh, operate at 5 volts and they need a data signal uh, of uh, at least 0.7 the times the uh, input voltage. So that's a probably about 3.5 volts when they're supplied with 5 volts. So the Raspberry Pi can only do, uh, drive 3.3 volts from the GPIO pins, so that would not be able. Uh, that wouldn't be a great success if, if, if I try that. So, of course, I can uh, attach a level shifter uh, to this board, but I chose the dirty way, and that's attaching a diode just uh, on the on the input voltage, which drops the voltage by about a half or 0.6 volts so the leds of the are the neopixels now operate at 4.4 volts and the data of pin is of course still 3.3 volts so that's that's done and of course this diode probably will get very hot when all the leds are lit white but i don't care it's a dirty way so i was only trying to see can i drive these with a raspberry pi so I installed uh, a library uh, someone made, uh, of course, uh, it's the RPI underscore WS281X library, cloned it with Git, and then, yeah, there was, there was a tutorial online, I put a link in the description how to, how to do that, and I thought, why not uh, see if I can make it running. And I tried it first at a Raspberry Pi Zero, which I have lying around. Um, but the Raspberry Pi Zero, it, it 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 worked, but then it stopped uh, when it was displaying all kinds of patterns. And I don't know why, but I couldn't see if the load on the, on the CPU was too high. But it, it just stopped, and I've connected it at the same way I did before, like I did uh, I'm doing over here. This is the input voltage, five volts, putting it directly onto the GPIO pins and splitting it over here to drive 5 volts, actually 4.4 volts on this board and just a data cable over here. So it's exactly the same setup, but it just stops. I'm, I'm tried running top or, or uh, anything to see if, if the CPU gets a, a huge load. But well, <laughs> as soon as I started running this Python script, the entire SSH daemon stopped and I couldn't do nothing anymore. So 
but the Raspberry Pi 3 over here can do the trick happily and that's why I connected this voltage meter over here it's supplied, su currently supplying 5 volts exactly and I'm going to run an example uh, Python script which came with the uh, RPI underscore WS281X library so in this, this example script uh, is called the strand test I do not exactly know what it's men meant by strand test in Dutch strand is a uh, beach so that's probably not it um, yeah and I've configured the script uh, to run uh, 5 times 8 is 40 LEDs so let's see what it does when I press the enter button there we go this looks kind of boring just trying all the different colors but then <laughs> it's get, getting very happy look at that and it keeps this pattern for quite a while but actually I'm, I'm quite amazed that the Raspberry Pi can drive NeoPixels and now the voltage went down to 4.85 volt not, not not a huge drop in my opinion, but yeah, I'm going to be doing a lot more now with these NeoPixels. Now I know how to drive them. I'm going to put a link in the description uh, on how to set up this yourself. And of course you, you can use the uh, level shifter I see to drive them, or you can use the dirty diode over here like I did. And yes, it's getting warm, not hot, but warm. And so that's okay. So yeah, I'm going to probably be putting up some more videos about NeoPixels from now on. I'm going to order all kinds of NeoPixels, see if I can create my own Philips U-Lite system with it. I'm not quite sure what, what I'm going to do with it, but I like it very much so far. So, thanks for watching.